Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to share files and folders on VirtualBox. So for this video, I'm using a Mac as my host machine, and I'm using a Windows 10 as my virtual machine. So uh, the idea here is uh, I created a folder called folder to share, but you can do this with any other folder on your Mac. And I'm going to share this folder between my Mac and my Windows 10 machine. And just for your information, I have one file called test.txt in that folder that I will be sharing. So the first step is to go to VirtualBox, and I'm going to select my Windows 10 machine here. And I'm going to click on Settings at the top. And I'm going to go to Share Folders, and I'm going to click on the plus sign here. And I'm going to select my folder that I want to share. So I'm going to click on Other. And then this folder is on my desktop, so it's called Folder to Share. I'm going to select it and click Open. And here I'm going to select Auto Mount. And I don't want it to be read-only on the Windows side, so I'm not going to check that option because I want to be able to modify that, I mean, the content of that uh, folder on my Windows side. So I'm going to click OK and OK again. So this is the first step. So we specify which folder we want to share and we uh, the second step is we need to launch some that virtual machine so i'm going to double click on that windows 10 machine and it's going to boot right now and we need to install what we call the uh, guest additions uh, so you only need to do this process once meaning that once you install the guest additions um, you don't need to reinstall them every time you want to share a folder that's just once and then you can share any folder um, between your host and your virtual machine. So I'm going to go at the top right here. And to install those additional, uh, those guest additions, I'm going to click on device and insert guest additions, CD image. I will click that option here. And you will see you have a little pop-up that shows up here. You can click on that. Or what you could do if it's, if this pop-up is not showing up, you can uh, click on the File Explorer at the bottom here. And then you go to this PC. And here you will see you'll have the option now to, you'll have basically the CD drive VirtualBox guest additions uh, there. So you will double click that, um, that uh, um, icon here and you're going to click sell, uh, yes, you're going to click yes. And then you're going to click next, next, install. And we're going to install all the drivers. Um, and also, uh, what I want to mention is uh, I'm using today a Mac as my host and a Windows as my virtual machine. But you could do this with any operating system. The process will be pretty much the same. It might change. Uh, actually, it will change a little bit uh, to access this shared folder on the virtual machine side. It will be a little bit different than a Windows because today I'm using a Windows as my uh, virtual machine. But you could do this as, as well. I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely working. It's, it's definitely possible. So now I'm going to check. I'm going to click Reboot now because we need to reboot uh, the virtual machine once we installed those guest additions. So it's rebooting right now. It's going to take a few seconds to um, reboot. All right, so now that my uh, virtual machine is rebooted, uh, I'm going to go back to the File Explorer, and I'm going to go back to this PC, and in a few seconds, you should be able, oh, yeah, you should be able to see right here, so this is my the folder to share that I'm sharing with my Mac, so I'm going to double click on that, and you can see that I have my test file here, um, uh, and I can, uh, uh, I mean, this file is, is shared with my Mac, I mean, from my Mac to my uh, Windows. So I can even double click on it and I see the content of the file in the file to share. I can also like edit it. Uh, I am editing this um, file with my Windows computer. All right, I can save it. And if I go back to my folder here, I can double click on it and I can open it and I will see that it says now I am editing this file with my Windows computer. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, video. 
Uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to click on the thumbs up. And also, if you want to know more about uh, VirtualBox and uh, more about technology in general, don't hesitate to uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, so that you get uh, basically like all the latest news uh, about uh, technology in general and VirtualBox. Thank you very much and have a great day.